Hello, today we would like to present to you guys our idea of sustainable sanitation. Created by me, Madison Folk, Caroline Schnelli, Ellie Folk, Simone Jennings, Aria Chalice, and Emily Susilo. Our team name is Hope for Soap! Why keeping yourself clean matters. When you keep yourself clean, it means taking care of your body. That means washing your hands and taking showers. When we don't do these things, germs build up on our body, causing viral infection. Homeless people are more likely to get these because they are surrounded by germs often. And some of the things they could get as diseases is coronavirus. Coronavirus is spreading worldwide and affecting thousands of people. It can even lead to deaths in some cases. This is why washing your hands is very important when it comes to good sanitation. There have been 850,000 fatalities per year due to lack of clean water, poor sanitation, and hygiene. And out of these 850,000 deaths, 360,000 children have died. Two billion people do not have the basic sanitation materials that we have, like toilets and latrines. While such 673 million people have to defecate in the open in gutters, in open bodies of water. So as Emily just said, almost one million people die from this every single year. So imagine that effect that that can have in our community too. For example, with the people who are living on the streets. If homeless people don't go to homeless shelters, they can be introduced to very painful diseases and the worst case scenario can even die. So that is why it is very important that we keep ourselves clean. This graph shows how many homeless people and families are living in the Colorado met metro area. Approximately 1,600 families are out in the open on the streets. This means that they are surrounded by germs often and that they do not have the right living conditions to keep themselves clean. And this chart shows that 785 million people do not have access to usable water. This means they can't wash their hands with good quality water, and that might lead to some illnesses. How many times have you walked into a public bathroom and there's been no soap to wash your hands or anywhere to dry your hands? This has happened to me many times. From my personal experience, my dad is a firefighter, so he often goes to homeless shelters. He said you'd be surprised how there is very little soap and in the showers and in the sinks to wash their hands. Our solution. For our, sol for our solutions, we decided to focus on soap. We decided to focus on soap because we found that most bacteria enter the body through the hand. So then we thought if more people had cleaner hands, then there'll be less bacteria and sicknesses going around to the sink. Our first solution, solution was soap carvings. So our sixth grade art class was doing soap carvings. So we immediately we heard about this and we immediately contacted our art teacher, art teacher, to see if we could have the shavings. So she said yes. So we took all the shavings and we melted them into new bars of soap, and we made a hundred a total of 194 inch by inch bars of soap. And here are the uh, soap carvings they made. And here is our sixth grade art class, and we will donate them to a for organization that you'll learn out in the next, in a couple slides. Our second solution was to do a whole stream soap drive. The details of the soap drive is that we will pro we provided bins for the classroom. We will make posters and the flyers to let people know that this is going on. We will accept liquid soap bars of soap, and hand sanitizer. So um, you have a you wide variety of soaps for all of the needs. And then we are providing a treat for the winning classroom, which is the class who donates the most soap. And then we are hoping to collect at least 400 soaps. So we are also hoping to go around to every single classroom in the school to educate them on the importance of washing your hands. Especially with the coronavirus going around, it will be very important that we help them, and even if there wasn't coronavirus, germs still are in contact, and especially in the winter, it's flu season, so people are getting all types of sicknesses. So we will also be educating the students on how some people don't have as many opportunities as we do to wash their hands, or can't do it as frequently as we can. 
So since you can't see germs and you can't see them spread, we came up with a very good visual to show um, germ spreading. So we use glitter, as you can see on my hand, to represent germs. And um, in the class, I will ask for a volunteer. And so let's say I'll use Maddie. So I'll shake their hand, and then I'll ask for another volunteer, and they will shake their hand. And it keeps going on and on to the end of the chain. And as you can see, Ellie still has soaps on her, still has germs on her hand, even though I didn't even make direct contact with her. I just made contact with Maddie and Emily. And as you can see, I still have germs on my hand. So that is why it is very important that I immediately get rid of those germs before they continue to spread. And um, we will also be putting posters in the bathrooms to educate them on the importance of washing their hands after they go to the bathrooms. And they, um, we will also educate them on this, well, most of them probably already know, but this whole coronavirus thing and um, how it is even more important that we wash our hands um, in this month and this week. So we plan to donate the soaps that we have collected from the soap drive and the ones that we have made to Growing Homes. Growing Homes is a nonprofit organization for families in need, like homeless people. So we're planning to donate about 300 to 400 soaps to them, not including the ones that we made. Um, you may be thinking, how is this solution sustainable? Well, our first sustainable solution is to put a bucket in the main entrance of our school where throughout the year we will collect any extra soaps that students or staff have. And yeah, so throughout the year we will check up on the bin and see like if it's getting full. And if it is, we'll take the, those soaps to growing homes. Oh, also, um... NJHS at our school, National Junior Honor Society, um, is a program where uh, students have to do community service hours. So we talked to the supervisor, and she said that after we graduate um, middle school, to keep this soap like collection thing going, that we can have students uh, collect soaps and take them to going homes for surface hours. So you just heard our first sustainable solution, and our second is we have convinced our art to our 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 art teachers to not just do soap carvings this year in our class, but for following years. And instead of the students taking the soaps that they make home, the class will be donating them to growing homes. And this way, Holsham, our school won't just be giving um, soaps to homeless people and homeless shelters this year, but for many years to come through this art class in the bin that you just heard about. So we have two sustainable development goals. Our first one is to have clean water and sanitation. So we're really hoping to not just make a difference for us in our community, but also worldwide. Our second one is to have good health and well-being. And again, we are really hoping to not just make a difference with this in our community, but also globally through a, a foundation that you'll hear about in the next slide. So, if we win World Affairs Challenge, what will we do with the money? We'll take the money in three ways. The first way is that we'll give part of it to our art teacher to supply for the tools and such thing she needs to help the students for future years do the soap carvings. The second thing we will do with the money is we will donate some to growing homes to provide for families in need, like other things like food and water. The last thing we will do is we'll donate to Clean the World. Clean the World is a nationwide uh, foundation that um, focuses on kind of what we were doing. So you'll hear about them right now. Except, so the video is restricted. So. We are just going to exit the tab, and we have it pulled up in another tab. Mm -hmm. Here's something you probably didn't know. Hygiene-related diseases are the leading cause of death for children globally, claiming the lives of over 2 million children under the age of 5 annually. How can you solve a problem that big? The answer is soap. Hand washing with soap has been proven to be the most effective and efficient way to prevent those deaths, reducing morbidity rates by 50% or more. 
We are Clean the World Foundation, and our goal is to improve global health and eradicate the top two killers of children. Clean the World Foundation is responsible for operating global health programs around the world. We do this in a few different ways. We provide local hygiene education programs. Our Soap in Schools program provides hygiene education to students, families, and teachers in a fun and exciting manner. Through this program, we establish an enjoyable educational experience around the importance of hand hygiene. We also operate our self-contained vehicles, providing access to hygiene resources and showers to low-income families. We provide outcome-based global hygiene programs. To achieve our goal of improving global health, we also take the lead on identifying vulnerable, at-risk communities and designing outcome-based soap access and hygiene education programs that lead to long-term behavior changes and locally sustainable results. We provide microloans. To sustain our impact, we provide startup capital for microloans to help new local soap makers launch a career providing soap locally not only increasing soap distribution, but positively affecting the local economy. We provide emergency relief. We protect public health by minimizing the impact of the event by providing... So, this basically just goes on and it kind of repeats itself. So, um, what they kind of didn't say was that they take hotel soaps and melt them and take other things and like shampoo and stuff and redo it and then give them to families in need. So let's get that to our slide. <laughs> what we did. So what I did was that I washed my hands but not very quickly or I just rinsed them. And now after this project I really take the thir thorough 20 seconds or sing ABCs to wash my hands. Um, what I did is um, I realized how important it is to wash my hands um, very long like Ellie, but I have also been carrying around um, some hand sanitizer and wipes so whenever I feel like I have like brain germs anywhere, I quickly wipe it up as quickly as possible um, so that those don't spread. And of course, as coronavirus going around, um, everything will be helpful. So. This really impacted me because it let me know how lucky we all are to have like the materials we have. So now I really like wash my hands in any case scenario. I also became a lot more aware of washing my hands and the diseases that could be available to me like if I didn't. What I now do is I think about um, how long um, I need to wash my hands and how special I feel to just have like these certain tools like soap, hand sanitizer, wipes, all this stuff now just makes such a bigger impact on my life. What I did is I made sure to always wash my hands when I was working with materials that have germs, like when I was cooking and using meats. What you can do to help is make sure you book, if you're going to go on a trip, you should book at some hotels that recycle the soap that you guys use. For example, Hilton Hotels, they do this and they make an impact on the world. Another thing you can do is to make sure you're always washing your hands and protecting your body from these germs. This is our bibliography with all of the websites that we used. And thank you guys so much for your time and consideration. Bye!